I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't think this is something that should go down. Yeah. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, Miles Boykin has been the topic of conversation amongst Ravens fans, I would say, for the last two years. Uh, rookie year, they didn't really talk about him, not nearly as much as they do now, but certainly uh, last year and going into this year, he has been on a lot of Ravens fans' minds. And we can completely understand why, because a lot of us are wondering, how is Miles Boykin going to be this year? What's going to happen with Miles Boykin this year? How is he going to move forward and take that next step, that next jump this year? And it's a really good question. It's a really good question, and I'm sure everybody has their own answers, but we're going to get into a lot of people's questions and something that a lot of people felt like the Ravens should do, and that's move Miles Boykin to tight end. But I would say no. I, I would say no, don't do it. But before we get into that, shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all, Team Keep It Clean. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Thank you for showing extra support to this channel. Um, I love y'all. I, I love everybody. Y'all already know, man. But thank y'all for being willing to show extra support uh, to the channel. So I appreciate it a lot. Now, uh, Miles Boykin. A lot of Ravens fans, they certainly remember Darren Waller. When the Ravens drafted Darren Waller, uh, they, they got a guy. What was he, like 6'6"? He was a tall guy. Fast receiver, too. But I, I joke about it a lot. But, again, it's, it's still true. That the Ravens, when it comes to these taller receivers, they don't know what to do with them. They don't know how to act. They It's like they get so lost and like, oh my goodness, we got a guy that's over 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, what do we do? Because it happened with Darren Waller. It happened with Demetrius Williams. It happened with Tommy Streeter. It happened with J Clarence Moore. It happened with Miles Boy. It happens with so many of their t these tall receivers that they get. They just, they don't know what to do with them. And they get lost in the mix. So with Darren Waller, the Ravens were like, you know what? Mm, we don't know what to do with him at wide receiver. So let's change him. Let's transition him to a tight end and see how it works out. And it was risky, but that risk ended up paying off in the long haul for a Darren Waller. Uh, because now he's been doing this thing with the Raiders and he's regarded as one of the best tight ends in the league. And I know a lot of Ravens fans, every time they see him play, every time they see him ball out, they get a little hurt inside. Their heart breaks that much more because and you're happy for Darren Waller, especially with his entire situation that he had when he was on the Ravens. We're happy he made it through that and he's doing great now. So shout out to Darren Waller. But I know a lot of Ravens fans, they hurt from that because they always think about oh, what could have been. Oh, man, that, he could have been with us. Oh, he could have been doing that for the Ravens. And it's a hard pill to swallow. But you got to. So now I think a lot of Ravens fans are comparing this situation with Miles Boykin to a Darren Waller and hoping that it could have the same effect. And hey, who knows? The possibilities are endless. It possibly could. But the reason why I say don't do it is because one, it would, in my opinion, it would show them giving up on yet another wide receiver that they drafted. And in his, what, third year? Now, I know that there is a possibility. It's a possibility that the Ravens could end up moving on from Miles Boykin this year. And that would be a very sad possibility. If that happened, I would be very hurt. Because y'all know me, I'm a very big Miles Boykin fan. Uh, and, I, and I just feel like with Miles Boykin, I feel like the biggest thing with him is that he just needs more uh, volume. He needs more volume. Now, I know it's only one football that goes around to everybody. It's only one. But with Miles Boykin, I think that if he was to get into more of a rhythm, because so, that's the biggest thing, I, actually. The biggest thing is that him and Lamar are just not on the same page. Now, if they were to get into a rhythm, if they would be able to get some chemistry going. And he saw more passes come his way. I think Miles Boykin would do so much better. So much better. 
But the fact that they are not in sync. Shout out to in sync, baby. Bye, bye, bye. But anyway, the fact that they are not in sync, I think that plays a huge role. A huge role. So with Miles Boykin, um, a lot of people have said, oh, yeah, let him switch to tight end. Now, my biggest reason why I do not think that the Ravens should switch him to tight end is because of how he is at the wide receiver position. Miles Boykin is this huge, just giant. Got some nice speed, too. He like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, huge guy. But he doesn't always play up to his size. And I think with Miles Boykin, one of the biggest things about his game that I, I feel personally is holding him back a bit. It's not that he can't catch. Nope. It's not that. Yeah, not to me. Nope. It's not that he doesn't have good speed. No, man, that's not it either. I know his route running can certainly improve, but I don't feel like that's his biggest problem. I don't. I think Miles Boykin's biggest problem is nothing to do with his physical attributes. I think it's all up here. It's all the mental part of football. And the mental part of football is bigger than the physical part. Much bigger. And in my opinion, I think Miles Boykin, it, it's got to click up here. It has got to click up here. And I know that uh, Jeff Zrebic, he said it a few days ago that the Ravens are trying to have Miles Boykin just use his body more and make him more physical. Now, think about this. Because for the people that would want Miles Boykin to switch to tight end. And like I said, I used to be one of them too. When I thought about it, when it first got brought up to me in question from subscribers, I was like, oh, you know what? That's not such a bad idea. But recently when thinking about it, I'm like, no, I, mm -mm, it's not a good move. But with Jeff Zrebic saying that, that the Ravens are trying to have Miles Boykin be more physical, really use that physicality a lot more. If he right now, if he's struggling and he has struggled, not saying that he can't change and can't improve because we can all improve in whatever it is that we do. But if his biggest issue right now, in my opinion, is him struggling with the physicality as a wide receiver, then if he were to make that move, make that transition to tight end, then the struggle would be even more because it's, it's such a, an even more demanding position. It's a demanding pos position physically because a tight end, similar, similarities with a wide receiver and a tight end, you both catch passes. You both run routes. Now, the tight end, the routes that they're running, it's not going to be like the, the routes that the receivers are running. Well, some of them tight ends, they get down there. I mean, they get down in, the, in that route running. But anyway, it's going to be different. And you're going to be working the, in, the, interior, the inside of the field a lot more. So with that being said, you have those safeties, you have those linebackers that you're going to be engaged with a lot more. And then you're an extra offensive lineman too because you got to stay on the offensive line and block. The receivers, they don't do that. They still block now, but they blocking cornerbacks and stuff. They'll block a safety or whatnot. But these tight ends, they blocking defensive linemen. They blocking linebackers. They blocking cornerbacks. They block, and say, they block everybody. Wide, wide receivers ain't got to do all that. So you're, you're going to be asked a lot more physically as a tight end. A lot more. And run blocking, pass blocking, and just the sort of wear and tear that your body takes. So that would be my biggest reasoning for why I do not think the Ravens should move Miles Boykin to tight end. Now, I think if, if it clicked for him at wide receiver, if it finally clicked for him and it was like, okay, that light turned on, then I'd be like, okay, cool. Say, for instance, if it would have clicked for him like last year as a wide receiver, and it looked like it was, like toward the end of the season, things were getting a bit better. He was getting a few more opportunities and things were getting a bit better. That's why I say he's a volume guy. He's got to get more catches in order to do better, in my opinion. And I know you could say, well, hey, when he does get a catch, he needs to make the most of his opportunity. And that's true. That's very true. You would not be wrong. But at the same time, if you don't get many opportunities in whatever it is that you're doing, not even just football, but if you're trying to learn something, you're trying to understand something, you're trying to get better at something, if you don't get many opportunities at it, it's going to be very, very hard for you to get better. And if somebody told you that, hey, well, when it is your time, you need to make the most of the opportunity. 
is true, but it doesn't make the situation any less difficult. So with Miles Boykin, he needs to stay at wide receiver, in my opinion. He should stay right there at the wide receiver position. And hopefully, again, this can be the year where he really turns it on. Team Keep It Clean, we out.